Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another General Hospital review, and this week we'll be um, talking a lot about Spencer and Trina. <laughs> I think um, my nose itches <laughs> that um, they pretty much dominated the week. <laughs> Definitely. Um, show's only on four days this week, so they were on three of the um, four days. Um, that they weren't together on um, Friday's episode, but still. Let's talk about them. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about um, the start out the week with Trina's party at this boy. First of all, I'd just like to talk about how this party was not very focused on Trina. <laughs> the grown folks were... Um, were taking up the time, <laughs> but there was times where they were talking about um, um, Trina's paternity and stuff like that. You know, Jordan starting shit <laughs> about that. Oh, Stella had showed up. We hadn't seen her in a while. Um, talked about the ancestry, about her having a cousin in town somewhere. All this other stuff. But anyways, that's I don't know how for that right now. So, Spencer showed up unannounced, uninvited. I'm like, I, I was thinking, I was like, she didn't invite them? So I could just swore she was talking to him about the party, or he just overheard, maybe. I don't know. And, um, of course, you know, I didn't talk about last week. I forgot to talk about the letter. Yeah, Spencer um, wrote her a letter before um, Cameron had came over to his, um, to his room at the Metro Court and stuff. Yeah, I didn't realize that I didn't talk about it until after I posted the review. And I'm like, how did I not talk about the letter? <sighs> yeah, but <laughs> the letter came in play. He had brought the letter. He was going to give it to Trina. And he just, like, showed up. <laughs> and Cameron acted like he didn't know that Spencer was going to show up. I'm like, fucking, you didn't just talk to him. You know he was going to show up. He was dressed. He got dressed into the suit. <sighs> <laughs> trying to play it cool, but I love that he's like Team Sprina. He's like he's our um us fans, he's our um leader of the pack. <laughs> leader of the pack, I guess. Him and Ava. <laughs> but I'll get to that later. But um Trina's like, Oh, she wanted to meet with them and I'm like Oh, well, you know, first time should be really special, but a cookie's fine. I was just joking. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> and anyway, she was just talking to him, and um, he thought about giving her the letter, but then, you know, she thanked him for, you know, giving her um, an alibi, you know, stepping up for her at the um, hearing and everything. And um, she decided that he has to go to prison, but she hopes that he can, you know, eventually find happiness. That's all she wants for him, you know. And I'm like, that touched me. <laughs> but, you know, he's, he just, they just hugged. And I'm like, oh! I think that was their first hug. I don't remember them hugging before. <laughs> like, if they did, it was forever ago. But, um. Yeah, Spencer told Cameron he was going to give her the letter, but he said not to. And Cameron's like, why not? Give her the damn letter. Anyways, um, later, Sprint, uh, Sprina. Trina was dancing with Rory. I wasn't really paying attention to the dancing, but people were saying that um, his um, dancing sucked. I'm like, oh, <laughs> damn. But, um, yeah, Rory's like, oh, I'll get you something to drink. And, um, they had like, a wall divider. Spencer was on one side and Trina was the other. And they were walking in the main. I'm going to see each other. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, he had the, um, he had the, um, letter in his hand. He was contemplating about whether or not to give her. And then he's like, oh, he has to get out of here. And he, um goes to try to put the letter in his um, inner jacket pocket and it falls out and Trina sees it and just like, what? 
And then he looks back and he's like, oh crap. He was like halfway up the little, the, that short staircase. And he's like, oh shit. <laughs> and she goes rushing to it and then um, she gets to it before he can get to it. And she's like, what's this? And you know, it has her name on it. And it's like, oh, he wears some curse on this. So cute. <laughs> And of course that how that's how Monday ended. So we had wait Tuesday. <laughs> it was so funny they were fighting over <laughs> the letter. And she's like, possession is not sense of the law. <laughs> she's like, Well it has my name on it, so obviously it was meant for me. <laughs> well she didn't talk like that. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking, why I was sounding like that. But he's like, yeah, this um, letter was addressed to my friend Trina. But remember, you said we're not friends anymore. Like, really? Yeah, he just said that um, what was in the letter was that he wished that he would have saw it as basically saw basically. I don't remember word for word, but he was like basically he wished that he had believed in her in the beginning and. She believed him and gave him back the letter. I'm like, really? Are you fucking serious? You had the letter in your hand and you're just going back. What the fuck are you talking about? No, you should have opened the damn letter. Come on. I been, I would have been like, I'll see for myself. Open it up. Read it. You're a lying little motherfucker. So you knew all along? And they're talking at the car. Rory interrupts. <sighs> He's annoying. And Spencer said that they were done and walked away. I'm like, really? <laughs> <sighs> and that was it for that. <laughs> that was really cool. Cameron's um, band performed and it sounded really good. I forgot the name of the song, but it was like, wow, that's really awesome. And so that's led to a lot of people saying that, um, why isn't the singing storyline revolving around Cameron? <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lordy. I'm like, how funny, because y'all were talking shit about it, but then now you said that it should be Cameron in the storyline. <laughs> I mean, it would make more sense. Cameron's the musician, and I don't know what Chase is doing, but whatever. <laughs> but um, William, um, who plays Cameron, uh, that said that the song was going to be available on all music platforms soon enough. <laughs> I looked on iTunes because he, he had shared another song. And I was like, wow, I didn't know he had all these songs. And also I saw music from... Um, James, who plays um, Valentine, I'm like, what? I didn't know he sung tunes. So I'm like, wow, he got me wanting to spend money in the Apple Store. So, so I had to get out of there because I'm on. I I've frozen myself from buying stuff um, for a while, but when I do, I'm definitely gonna pick that stuff up. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Of course, people were talking shit about. Oh, I already talked about that. <laughs> They're talking shit about Rory Sanson. Lordy. And they don't let down um, about them damn brownies. <laughs> like, he's a boy brownies alone. He tried. <laughs> he could have at least brought them ice cream or milk with him. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Anyways, on yesterday's episode, I watched it last night. <laughs> oh, I was watching it because I was going to get off work. And, um, well, I was supposed to get off at work a little after two, so I would have watched the rest of um, Jay's. But uh, so much stuff trying to. Well, I'll be on vacation next week, so I had a lot of stuff to get in order before I logged off. For, for me being off next week. And I had it on, but I was not paying that one attention to what's going on. So I rewatched it last night on the ABC app, which is the most annoyingest app I've ever streamed shows on. I loved it so much. I know it makes me want to go back out and get, um, buy, um, subscribe to Hulu. 
<laughs> Again. <laughs> well, my old Hulu wasn't my account. It was on my uncle's account. <laughs> so I wasn't paying for it. But now I'm willing to pay for it. If that means I can um, watch without having to go through so much stuff to make it work. But anyways, that's a whole other story. Anyways, oops. Um, anyways, so Rory, I don't know why, Jordan, I, she just likes to do shit <laughs> for Rory to go and, um, have, um, you know, get, take Spencer's possessions and stuff for him. I'm like, girl, you know, for sh you know that fucking Spencer likes Trina and why would you put Rory in that position? That's just stupid. It's like she just hates the cats and arms and just want to fuck with them. I'm like, I understand not liking Nicholas, but well, I mean, Spencer. Spencer's had his moments, but still, that's still a little fucked up. But, anyways, Rory talking about he can get him a job if he needs a working job. Remember a couple few weeks ago when they were at the pool, he's like, oh yeah, I can get you a job in the library. And he keeps, yeah, some keep mentioning that um, he's got friends at the uh, Pentafilm. Makes me think that he might orchestrate some shit. Especially after what happened at the end of Friday. But I'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, and Spencer's like, no thank you. <laughs> oh, he said thanks, but no thanks. Spencer just looked, well, I mean, I understand him looking pissed because he's about to go to prison, but still. I just, I'm, I'm picturing him how he was to just look like he just wanted to fuck up everybody <laughs> right then and there. And then Rory asked him, um, what did he say? I forgot he was saying. Oh. What did he, I forgot. Oh, Rory said, um, what did I say? Oh. Rory, that's what happened. Rory asked Spencer, he's like, um, when he interrupted them at the party, he was like, it looked like they weren't finished. And he's like, and Spencer's like, he just like got up, rose up, and he's like, him and Trina are done, and that there's nothing going on between us, so you have nothing to worry about. I was like, okay, I just didn't want you haunting us from Pentaville. I'm like, he don't haunt you, but Strina want him. <laughs> Lordy. And Spencer showed up. Spencer. <laughs> Nicholas showed up to see Spencer off, and Spencer was yelling, get out. <laughs> like, before even Nicholas got in the door, he was like, get out. <laughs> And the guard just lets Nicholas in and closes the door. <laughs> the guard's like, I ain't got time for that today. <laughs> and like, my name is, what is it? My name's Bennett. I'm not in it. Uh, whatever that's saying. <laughs> Basically, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas, Spencer said that he will tell Jordan that he doesn't have an alibi and that, you know, Basically make him look like he's suspect number one. Which Jordan already thinks he's a suspect. And Victor comes in. He's like, uh, no the fuck you aren't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember if, if Victor said anything after that. But, um, as Victor is coming out, and he's like, huh, thought more people will be here to sell your mom. I'm like, I would have I been there, Spencer, but I was working. <laughs> You know, Trina, Cameron didn't even show up. I'm like, the fuck? Oh, that hurt. Oh. Anyway, so, meanwhile, Trina went to go see Ava. Oh, that's funny. Nicholas was trying to get in to see Ava, but he wasn't on the list. <laughs> it's like going to see Ava's some exclusive club. <laughs> and the guards, her bouncer, and it's like, uh, you're not on the list. You're not on the least. The least. You're not on the list. <laughs> and Trina walks up, and he's like, oh, yeah, you're on the list. You can go in. <laughs> no, 
Can we talk about Trina's shirt? That was so cute. You know what? I don't think I ever talked about her hair. She got rid of the braids and she's got the straight hair going. Better than mine. Mine got a little frizzy because it's got a little warmer. <laughs> but her hair is all straight. It looks beautiful. And I noticed that um, while I was watching GH in my room, so the, the TV in my room is close to the bed than my TV in my office is to my desk. So, it just looked like she has, like, this perfectly soft skin. And I'm like, it's this flawless. And I'm like, what is her Richmond? What is she using? Mine is not that smooth looking. I'm, I'm a bit jealous there, girl. You gotta, what, what is your moisturizer? <laughs> anyway, oh, another thing I noticed watching on the ABC app is it looks like it's hot. It's the jeans. Is, is their set hot or something? I know there's a lot of people in their faces, especially around this area, was that they look like they're sweating. And I'm like, is it because of the lights or something? But they're just like glistening. Like, I don't see that when I watch um, Days on Peacock or um, Bold on um, Paramount. I don't see that. I don't see the sweatiness. I'm like, Anyways, so that was a little shocking. Um, I forgot who scenes it was. Oh, it was, who was it? Was it Victor and Sunny? I think it might have been their scenes. I don't remember. But anyways, so Ava and Trina were talking. And um, Trina asked why um, Nicholas wasn't allowed in. I for you know what? Honestly, I forgot what she said. <laughs> But, you know, last week, Trina was looking Nicholas up and down. <laughs> like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm surprised that Ava didn't tell her that, um, about, Ni oh, I guess she didn't want to talk about, um, Nicholas and Esme. Because <laughs> she already told me, you know, so she's like, uh, nobody else needs to know about that. Because <laughs> then everybody's going to be wondering, oh, so that's why Esme's missing? <laughs> But they did, um, but Ava did talk to, um, Trina about Spencer. And it's like, they were just, like, sweetly just talking to each other. Because Ava was worried about Trina and talking about her not going to the gallery. Because, you know, she's worried about her safety. Because, you know, don't know if this person is you know, going to come back and finish the job or what they're after or whatever. But then she, Ava brings up Spencer, and Trina just, like, loses it. <laughs> and she just, like, Trina just blurts out and tells Ava everything that happened at the party and stuff. And Ava's like, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go tell you. Spencer believed in your innocence all along. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I thought this was a dream. I'm like, this is a dream? I'm like, no, it's really for real. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> She's like, yeah, she, he believed in innocence all along. And Trina's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm like, come on, he's going off to Pennandale today. And Nicholas had mentioned he was going to send him off. And she's like, oh, I should go talk to him. And Ava's like, you know, before you go, you need to think about um, what you want first. Which I think is really great advice, you know, because, like, we all know that she wants Spencer. But, you know, she has to think about it, you know. Don't just, like, jump into this. Especially after everything that she said to him, you know. And just now learning what she knows. I mean, she's still with Rory, so, you know. You gotta, if you want Spencer, then you gotta get rid of Rory and... I've always got a really creepy vibe from Rory ever since he, ever since I first saw him. Like, I thought he was working with Esme, then I thought he would let his little crazy out when Trina starts, you know, wanting, showing that she wants Spencer. You know, it's like, it's obvious to see that she still cares about Spencer no matter what she's saying. So, him still wanting to be with her always just looked kind of stupid to me. But I mean, it's a soap opera. Um, People do crazy things to keep somebody that they like from somebody that, from somebody else that they want. I don't know. I don't think I said it right. 
Anyway, she ends up going to the PCPD, but he was already in Pentaville in his orange jumpsuit. <laughs> oh my god, his face. <laughs> I don't think he's ever going to smile again. <laughs> he just always looks so pissed off, which I understand him, but seeing Trina, I'm sure, would put a beautiful smile on his face. And she was like, looking, where's Spencer? And Rory was standing there. And like, mm, awkward. <laughs> He's like, what do you want with Spencer? <laughs> so, yeah. But there's rumor that he, um, the actor, Michael, I forgot his last name, that plays Rory was going to be leaving soon. Um, I know he's on another show. I forgot what show. He had posted a picture about being on the set. Damn, I forgot what show it was. Damn. But, um, yeah. And, uh, also they are saying that there was, I guess it's known that three people are leaving the show, so he might be one. We know that Brett is one of them. Um, Kelly, she is going back to Station 9 on, um, ABC. <laughs> I did a video, um, talking about that, so if you haven't checked that out, check that out. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. Um, I give my, um, reaction, yeah, reaction to that, so, yeah, and she had scenes with truck nuts this week, and I didn't really go about, about them, honestly, waste of air time, in my opinion, but let's talk about something else that's a waste of air time is Sasha, I hate to say that, but I think I said that last week, too. Brandon and Sasha, it's just, they really should just go. There's no, it's hard to want to care about either one of them when they're not really, first of all, they're not showing much, and it's the same thing with them. Nothing new or exciting, but, um, Sasha went crazy at, um, the... Bistro? Was it the. I keep wanting to call it the grilled cheese bistro, but I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> but Lucy brought her there to tell her to, um, to just want her to not tell her, but make it known that she wants her to step away from deception. Well, she asks her nicely. And, um,. Sasha loses it, and some dude is recording it, and she snatched that phone, and she stomped on it. And I was all, I'm like, dude don't want his phone. <laughs> but yeah, and like I said, they're writing her like Britney from, was it 2007? Yeah, but Brandon came in and calmed her down, and she was like, yeah, I need some help, so. It's good that she's finally getting the help that she needs that she should have gotten. What What is this? This is September. So, yeah, she should have gotten that back in winter. We're almost in fall now. And it's just one of those storylines that just gra gets dragged out for absolutely no fucking reason. <laughs> and TJ is the new um, go to guy. Because. <laughs> um, Brando was talking to TJ before he went to um, Trina's party about um, um, about how he's made mistakes with trying to get Sasha help and stuff. And he felt ashamed for wanting to ask Sasha to do the conservatorship. Um, and I'm like, wow. At least he's saying that being honest, cause, but that's more than to say about with Finn. <laughs> yeah, I try to compare people, but yeah, because um, Brandon and Finn are kind of in the same situation where the women they care about need some help, but they're not sure exactly how to get that, get them to get that help, but um, and Finn is definitely overstepped uh, more than Brando has. Um, I do say with Brando on this stuff, but the conservator, conservator, whatever, whatever, how you pronounce it, I can't say words today, but, uh, 
Yeah, that was stupid. That's not something that I want to see on television. No. I didn't like it. That was happening to Brittany. And I didn't see how all of that went down. And I don't want to see this stuff. Hopefully, we don't. But we can always get what we want. And when we do get what we want, we can't see it that often. <laughs> but, um, but also, with Ava, I forgot. Um, Victor and Sonny had scenes. I'm like, why are they having scenes together? But basically, Sonny um, tells Victor that if him or Nicholas had anything to do with attacking Ava, he will have to answer to him. What? Sonny standing up for Ava? Nina is definitely... <laughs> Nims definitely have changed Sonny. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day that he would defend, um, would defend her, but I like it. That's really good that he is. I'm like, Sonny and Ava don't need to be friends, but, you know, they're still Avery's parents, so there should be some sort of respect in some sort of way. So, yeah, but I think he's taking Avery in consideration with this as well as, um, Nina for being uh, them being friends and stuff. So yeah, and Valentine went to Alexis to um, get her to write a story, and the invader to um, basically to get everybody to stop looking at the Cassidines as possible suspects of attacking Ava. And Alexis basically told him, uh, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> As nicely as Alexis can put it. <laughs> I know. And those two have... You know, I'm a Anna and Valentine fan, but Valentina and Alexis has really nice-ass chemistry. <laughs> I know I was talking about it and people were like, yeah, the Cassidines, all of them, they have some weird <laughs> family um, sexual chemistry. <laughs> It's true, Valentine and um, Alexis are really look hot for each other. So, but no, this is not Game of Thrones. I've never watched the show, but the only thing I know about the show is that they do incest. They have incest going on there. That's that's all I know. What I don't know what else it is about, but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, and Victor trying to put the moves on Lucy by putting some some tan lotion on her. <laughs> I'm like, Lucy, he's just trying to make sure you don't burn, girl. You don't want to burn. That doesn't suit you. Burn this, burnt skin does not suit you. That's not cute, and I'm sure it's very painful. I don't know. I've never really been sunburnt. I've gotten darker, but never sun, never sunburnt. So. But I've seen some her birth happen to others, and, and it didn't look pretty, so. <laughs> but talking about things that are not pretty, um, having nightmares. <laughs> but it wasn't a nightmare for me. It was a dream that should have lasted longer. <laughs> but Lilla had a nightmare of um, Nell coming back, and <laughs> she finding... Um, Car I meant to rewatch this on um, Carly and Michael on the ground because they were stabbed and I could have sworn the Michael on the ground was Chad. Um, Chad Dole usually plays Michael, but in the episode, um, it was Tim Michael on um, Robert Adamson. So then I'm like, did they shoot these at two different times? I don't know. Some people agree with me that it looked like Chad and um, one other person said that it looked like Robert to her. So I don't know. I meant to go back and rewatch it to see if I was just seeing Chip. But uh, yeah, but Lil realized that she was the one that did it. And she looks at her hands, it's all bloody. She's like, ah! <laughs> And Carly and Michael are just dead. And I'm like, oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> and Wiley just standing there, not giving a fuck. And Will was like, um, we're gonna go now. Say bye, Wiley. And Molly said, bye, mommy. 
I'm like, damn, Wiley don't give a fuck about bones. <laughs> he was just happy to be with his brown mommy. <laughs> it was like, I swore, I swear I saw that child smile. <laughs> I was like, does he not get what this scene is about? <laughs> but I, I guess that was just part of Willow's dream that Wiley didn't give a fuck about her. But anyway, she gets up and she, um, so it's Michael and Carly there. Speaking of which, Carly's top is really cute. See, I can say nice things about Carly. But anyway, she decides to go out. I'm like, really? You're in bed, but then you decide to go out to the graveyard? Okay. <laughs> so she goes out to the graveyard. And um, Nina's there. Um, it was the anniversary of Nell's death. So, um... Nina was visiting her grave. And, of course, she saw now. Because, you know, if you're going to get Chloe to come back as now, have everybody see her. Or at least her sister and her mommy to see her. <laughs> and um, Nina was giving her... Oh, Nina. Nell was giving Nina props for um, breaking up Sunny and Carly. And was like, hey, we can work together and... Make Carly's, that miserable, what you call her, miserable bitch's life. <laughs> I'm like, that would be so much fun. But no, because that's one of my favorite things that Nell did was drive Carly crazy and make everybody look at her like there was something wrong with her. That's one of my favorite things about Nell, definitely. <laughs> the worst thing is to allow that child to keep the name Wiley. <laughs> I hate that damn name. <laughs> And I was talking to Nina, I mean, you know, yeah, well, I mean, basically, they're talking, they're talking, and Willow shows up, and it's like, um, okay, <laughs> but, um, Nina said that she was talking to Nell, and then Willow talks shit about Nell, and then they start arguing, and of course, this is when Carly shows up, so she thinks that, Nina's being a meanie, so she's going to be mean to Nina and talk about all the shit that Nell did and how she's not perfect and all the stuff, leaving Michael in the burning car. I'm like, okay, so she didn't want to save his ass. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's fire. I, I, I don't like fire. Shit. Anyway, so I'm just thinking, like, this is so fucked up. Nina just went there to pay her respects to her daughter. And Willow and Carly just come up and just start shit. I'm like, Nina can't have any kind of peace whatsoever. It makes no sense. I mean, stupid. I mean, okay. Everybody knows fucked up shit on the show. It doesn't mean that it needs to be constantly thrown in people's face. It doesn't make any, it, it doesn't make any sense that that's something that needs to happen every episode. <laughs> I mean, all Nina did was not tell Sonny who he was or tell anybody that Sonny was alive. Big fucking book. I mean, that's fucked up, but I mean, it's not the worst thing that anybody in town has fucking did, especially like Carly fucking Corinthos. Okay. <laughs> and nobody throws the shit that she does and her, um, her face, you know. And then and here she is doing yet again keeping a mother from her child or a parent from the child because she, you know, I, I had forgot that she um, was making Jax think that he was Spencer's kid and she didn't tell Sonny about Christina being his and this is the second child she's not telling Nina about, so. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah, and back in the day with Michael, she thought she made Jason think he was Michael's dad, but really was AJ. So. <sighs> and somebody's like, oh, she's made up for a mistake. I'm like, it's not a mistake if you keep doing it over and over again. That's just my, I'm mean, like, that's just a choice. But whatever. <laughs> But last thing I want to talk about, I can't remember what I didn't talk about before. But um, it's all real cool. Um, speaking of graveyards, <laughs> Anna had um, went to go see um, Robert. He was visiting Peter's grave, and somebody spray a fit of graffiti. 
defeating it. It doesn't even look like they were trying to spell out anything. They just was like, they're just like, hey, just take this and like spray it. <laughs> and I was like, um, what happened here? I'm like, if they graffitied it, then I'm sure somebody has pissed on it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> But Anna's trying to get Robert's help and bring it on Victor. Um, and yeah, Robert figured out it was about Valentine too. It's like, Valentine means that much to you? I'm like, Robert, you should be watching the show. If you're not going to be on the show, watch the show and you'll understand those kisses. <laughs> but we didn't get to see my scenes together, so hopefully next week. But anyways, that's all the important shit I talked about this week. <laughs> well, unless you want to talk about how Mac thinks he might be Chuck Nuts' his dad. But... <sighs> that's not what we want from Mac. <laughs> Just like we don't want Felicia to be Esme's mom. But they were hinting that that could be too. Anyways, that's all that happened this week. I guess. Anyways, <laughs> let me know what did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and share. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. It is looks like it's about to pour down rain, but it's a beautiful day. I've had the windows open since yesterday, and hopefully it stays really nice like this because I'll be on vacation next week. So. No more special, just probably just the beach. I haven't been all summer. It's been really difficult for me. But anyways, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> See you guys next week. Love ya.